Hey there, it's Elliot. So a buddy of mine recently picked up this secondhand iPhone and guess what? It had that pesky locked to owner message. You know, the iCloud activation lock, such a bummer, right? We spent hours searching for solutions and guess what we found? Multiple legit ways to remove that annoying message, not just on iPhones, but iPads and even Apple watches. I thought, why not share the love with you all? So in today's video, we're diving into these super handy tricks. Stick around and let's free up those devices together. Keep in mind, this info is for rightful device owners who've forgotten their access details. We don't support bypassing security on stolen devices. Stay legal and respect others. Our video follows YouTube's rules. Now let's get started. All right, when my cousin Mia got her secondhand iPhone, she was super stoked until she saw that dreaded lock to owner message. Talk about a mood killer, right? But the good news is, there are some fantastic tools out there that come to the rescue. If, if you find yourself in a similar pickle, don't stress. Firstly, there's the Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. Mia tried it and was mind blown by its efficiency. It's like having a tech guru buddy right by your side. And then you've got Lock to Owner, which is another lifesaver. It's pretty simple and straight to the point. I've had a friend swear by Safe Unlocks too. They offer a clear cut process and have your back if things get tricky. Lastly, but by no means least, the iUnlock app, a popular choice among many users for its user-friendly interface. Just remember, while these options are super helpful, it's crucial to use them responsibly. They're meant to help out genuine device owners like Mia, who just want access to their own stuff. After all, it's all about staying informed and making life a tad easier for ourselves. Stay tuned, because later I'll be showing you how to work magic with Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Uh, on the other hand, it's essential to know that these unlock services primarily work in first world countries. If for some reason you can't access them or prefer not to use them, we've got a special offer just for you. Every week, we're giving away 250 unlocks to our awesome viewers. To get in on this, here's what you need to do. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment below with your device model, like iPhone 8, your IMEI number, and your country. Once you've done these steps, you're in you'll be automatically entered for a chance at one of the weekly unlocks. Good luck. All right, let's dive into the steps to get your device unlocked using unlockhere.com. First, pop open a browser on your phone or computer and head straight to unlockhere.com. This site is pretty cool. It's powered by an AI assistant that can help clear any pesky restrictions on your mobile. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, the handy AI bot. Let Nifty know what you're here for by choosing the activation lock option. Yep, that's the one to click for an iCloud unlock. Now you'll have to tell Nifty what kind of device you're using. Pick iPhone, but if you're here for an iPad or an Apple Watch, those options are right there for you too. Next up, the IMEI or serial number. Here's a quick heads up. iPhones, they always have IMEIs, but if you're dealing with iPads or Apple Watches, it gets a bit trickier. If they've got a SIM card slot or can work on cellular networks, go with IMEI, but most of them don't have that and they'll come with a serial number. Wondering how to find this? Just press the sleep button on your locked device. Tap it again and look for the little eye icon on the bottom right. Tap on it and boom, you've got your device info. And now you have your device info. Let's input it here. Make sure you got the correct numbers. It gets tricky sometimes. After that, don't forget to tap next. You'll need to fill in some basic info so they know it's you. Make sure it's legit because they'll shoot a confirmation code to your email. You'll need that to move forward. Once you've filled everything out, there's a quick box to check. It's all about agreeing to the terms and making sure you're not trying to unlock something that's you know, not yours. After checking, let's solve this CAPTCHA, making sure it's not a robot trying to unlock a device. Hit start process. Now head over to your email. Look for an email with a confirmation code. And hey, if you don't see it right away, it might have sneaked into your spam or junk folder. So give that a peek too. Once you've got the code, copy the code from the email that you received to confirm your order and initiate the unlock process. Go back to the unlock here website to continue. Now pop in the verification code and confirm you're not a robot. After that, tap the button to validate info and start unlocking. Magic is happening in the background and your device is on its way to being unlocked. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. 
and voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And there you have it, but hey, stick around. We've got another method coming up next for those who might want a different approach. Next up is asking Apple. All right, so let's break this down into simple steps. Contacting Apple support with the original invoice. First things first, you'll need your original invoice, the one you got when you bought your device. Next, head over to Apple's official support page. Choose the option to chat or talk to a representative. Tell them you need help with an iCloud activation lock. They'll likely ask for some information, including details from your invoice. Share the relevant info and they should guide you through the rest. With that invoice in hand, they can verify that you're the rightful owner and help remove the lock. Next is resetting the Apple ID on Apple's website. Go to iforgot.apple.com. This is Apple's official site for all things password related. Enter your Apple ID email address. That's the one you use to download apps or buy stuff on iTunes. Follow the on-screen prompts. They might ask you a few security questions, so be ready. Once you've answered everything, they'll give you the option to reset your password. With your password reset, you can then log into your iCloud account and remove the activation lock from there. With these two methods, you've got a good shot at unlocking your device. But if you're still having trouble, don't worry. We've got more tips and tricks. All right, so another way to tackle that pesky iCloud lock is by using iCloud Unlock software, but let's dive a bit into the nitty gritty. iCloud Unlock software, this software can be a lifesaver, but there's a catch. You'll need a Windows computer. Yep, not everyone's got one, so this method might not be for everyone. Now, when looking for this kind of software, you'll find a ton out there. But here's the kicker. Not all of them do the job. Even more, some might be hiding some nasty malware that can mess with your computer. Always a bummer, but don't get too discouraged. If you'd rather steer clear of downloads, there are safer routes. Online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks can be real game changers. The best part, no downloads needed. Just hop online, follow their steps, and you're good to go. So there you have it. Whether you choose software or an online service, always be cautious and make sure you're using trusted sources. Next up is especially handy if you can get in touch with the previous owner of the device. If the seller is responsive, here's a simple way to unlock. Ask the seller to follow these easy steps to help free your iPhone from that pesky lock. Hop onto iCloud.com. They just need to use their iCloud login details. Spot the Find iPhone option. Once they click on that, they'll see a list of devices. They just need to spot and select your iPhone, which might be causing that pesky lock issue. Hit the Erase button. Doing this will give the device a fresh start, wiping it clean. Sever the link. This part's crucial. To make sure the device isn't tied to their account anymore, they need to click on Remove from Account. There you have it. With their help, your iPhone should be back in action in no time. So that's it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we hope you got what you needed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.